And welcome back everyone to another episode of Keen and Dragon Pass. Last episode didn't have much really in the way of excitement, and this episode probably won't have much of the same. More or less of Gold Harvest, they feared that bad luck would plague us this year. Well that's not particularly good. Okay, so who broke a mirror or walked under a ladder? Did my entire clan walk under the ladder? <sighs> Idiots, I told them that they shouldn't be doing that, but nobody listens to me. Nobody listens to the player. Well, left of our expedition to the Singing Force has returned. Explorers were investigating a AA, AA well when they were ambushed by trolls. Some of the people were wounded, others were killed, and she died of old age. Well, that kind of sucks. Members of our expedition to the lands of the Hate Horsemen have returned. They tell of a daring adventure in which they swam down on the encampment of the horse nomads and survived the onslaught of their fairy magic and leaping horses. Only a few were wounded, and several ornamental weapons were seized as loot. Snazzy. Did that actually, like, did, did we gain anything from that? I, I can't tell. Because we have so much shit with us. But I mean, you know what? We got plenty of jazz, okay? We got plenty of jazz. I need to reorganize the clan ring first, though. Who goes in? You're an Arnaldian. You kind of suck as an Arnaldian. Hey, there's another. Why do I have so many of you? I, I have, I have so many, why are you all coming out? I need, I need combat person. Hey, Mr. Olanthi man, I see you there too. I'm probably just gonna go ahead and pick her all the end. She, what, what the hell was she? Oh, she was an Odalian. Yeah, I just, you, lady, come on to the clan ring. Hope you have fun, enjoy your stay. Too many hunters for the wildlands, I'll go ahead and fix that, don't worry about it. Here it is, wife of Clan Seeker blessing the marriage of their daughter, son of the chief and the he is pleased with the match and with the uh, bride price fitting cows worth of goods. I'm gonna go ahead and bless the marriage and offer to pay five cows worth additional things. Yep, fine feast, great festival, everything's good. Okay, okie dokie. People are unhappy. I don't know why they're unhappy. Maybe because there's so many of them. They're going, hey, why, why are we still in this game? What is going on? What has happened to the world? What we're gonna, what we're gonna go ahead and do? We're gonna go in on the final hero quest that I need. I'm gonna let you read it as per usual. Now wasn't that eventful? It was totally eventful. I don't really want to have you go, do I? I mean, you get a bargain, but that's really about it. Alright, let's go ahead and do it, man. Myth begins are in the great darkness when Trey, travel and talking have fallen apart. Apparently the kid can't even talk either. I kinda wish some of them would. So I just put these back together by traveling to a strange place and bring conciliation to a pair of warring tribes. What benefit does he seek? Um, improve relation with the cult? Why would I want to have friends with a cult? Um, I, I don't even know. I don't think there's like much of really... I mean, a lot of these kind of suck. I mean, I can make them stronger, but there's really no point. I'll go ahead. I'll... I'll go and improve relations with outsiders. Oh god, which ones? Uh, <laughs> with the horse spawn. There you go. I'm reading Hunters to take a place. No, I'm not going to try to do that. Just because it's harder to do that, and I don't think I have somebody that can take the place of, of uh, a Euroxy. I don't think I have a Euroxy in my nobles. So I'm just going to try to contact them, dire them directly. The sun rises in the dark and blasted place. The winds are strong and cold, which is good, but this place is unfamiliar, and that makes him nervous. As a traveling one, he should know every place where Arlanthi are found. There are Arlanthi here, though. One of them 
has the unmistakable demeanor of Lanker Mai, the know-it-all god, he must decide how to convince Lanker Mai to come with him on his quest. In exchange for your help, I will help you find the truth, which is also missing. F finally complain, Lanker Mai, I have been asking you to help me find the truth for what feels like decades. The truth I was lost because of your irresponsible generosity, I might add. It was something you should have never traded. Then he sees the fearsome warrior Stormball, and as per usual, this way there is chaos to fight. Where? Mm hmm. Drowsy searches for a very long time to find the worst part of the problem. What, he, what does he decide must be the worst part? That people are not trading fairly. This realization enabled him to find a special route by digging in the hillside. He uncovered a passageway that allowed the group to cross the big water simply by walking down steps. On the way to fight their destination, through are attacked by a number of Chaos Beasts, just go ahead and let Stormbolt do his thing, and he defeated the creature easily. He leads the companions to the Tula of the Digging Stick People, who are suffering terribly. This Digging, digging Stick People, I don't know why it's a tongue twister, is blamed that their Tula have been a battleground for war between the long noses and the big teeth. Whenever they fight, the Digging Stick Patchers are trampled, the cows are stolen and eaten by hungry soldiers, their curls are captured and ransomed so that the armies can buy weapons. Their weapon things are pressed into service, risking their lives for no reward. Neither Lanker or Mike or Stormball are interested in helping them make peace between the warring peoples. I will go to the Long Noses no matter who follows. Stormball went along, but Lanker Mai went elsewhere. He means for the Orska's priestess, the Long Nose, who says we have no cause to make peace with the Big Teeth. They have always attacked and killed us. Our best in defiance are murdered. They take our leaders, our priests, our healers, and our weapon things. Lowers her voice and through her enormous nose whispers a shameful secret. Then the Big Teeth eat them. They devour our flesh and prevent our bones from being uh, interred in my holy secret place. We can never make peace with them so long as they eat us. Now that the thing death has come to the world, it is impossible. I will go immediately to talk to the Big Teeth. Jackson meets with Franthod, war leader of the Big Teeth. He says it is a long, it's long been decreed that we should eat the long noses, for they are large and juicy and flavorful. They can eat the grasses of the plants and the leaves of the forest, but we cannot. We won't starve just to please others. We could eat you two legs instead, devouring the villagers whose tulas you are so concerned about, but I do not think you would consider that a just solution. We cannot do as you ask, for how does one make peace with one's dinner? Yeah, that's kind of a good point. I will ask the Knowing God for help. He asked the Knowing God for help, interrupting some pointless thing that Lanker Mai was doing. Lanker Mai said that Orska was nothing but an overgrown cow and him just a big alinx. Then Johnson knew what to do. He, terms, he told Stormbolt to run to romance Oriska, and Oriska agreed to tend to peace parley. He told Stormbolt to kick Prather and show him who's boss, and he agreed as well. Sounds about right. Now the two leaders agreed to talk peace, what does he propose? The Big Teeth must only attack weak and sick long noses. Said that's what you say you must do, what must the long noses do? The Big Teeth must trade back the bones of the dead Long Noses. And this is what you say we must do, what must the Long Noses do, okay? The Long Noses must accept that some of them will be eaten. Oriska and Protar made peace, made peace through this talking, they made trade, and with trade, traveling began again, and the world started to knit itself back into one place. He had done his work and prepared to leave the realm of the gods. Oreska departed, Stormbolt took his leave of Durant, then Prether turned to Jansen and purred, Now, I never did promise not to eat you, did I? I will offer to trade treasures. This is good so long as it is not one of those stupid dig uh, digging stick people treasures. My den is already lined with those. What treasure do you offer? I will offer... I don't have a spirit fetch, do I? Damn, I don't. Hoping I did. I will give you. I was really hoping I still had one of those. <laughs> I gave you this. No, I'm not gonna give you the Splendor Bread. Oh boy.
out of all of them, what do I care the least about? Probably this one. I'll go and give you the clay cow. Gidra is a necklace of stones that look like tiger eyes and let him pass. People celebrated his uh, return. There were horse spawn there to welcome Jasen and to voice their esteem for him. And we just let them there, but like, hello, we're just coming here to, you know, say thanks for doing what you did. Yeah, don't mind us. A huge troll who identifies herself as an umlik seeks permission to enter Tula as a guest. She knows that you guard an item known as the Iron Spike and wants to warn you that possession of this item marks you out as a great foe of the trolls. If you give her the spike, that will show that you meant no harm to her people. We have already reason to dislike us. We should not risk angering them further. He was attacked by uh, Karkos, the troll avenger, who was angered with the Orlans broke as far as lakes. Defeated him. You're not going to be able to win a fight against her, by the way. So I give away the spike. We should get something for it. She might have brought a good treasure for trade. If we decide to give it away, we should get something for it. We promised the libraries we'd keep it for them. <laughs> Lies solve all kinds of problems. She's tougher than she looks, and she looks very tough to begin with. Do I really want to go with the trickster on this one? Oh, fuck it. I, you better not be lying to me, man. You're probably lying to me. She sniffed the air, she growled. You think we trolls can't smell nasty weapons made to keep us down? No, you have it, liars, bad people. Got it. Thanks for the warning, lady. She poured unhappily, saying that a warning was no good if you ignored it. I mean, I didn't want to just... I don't know what happens if you piss off the other people, so I, I don't know. I haven't done it enough. Hey, you know, we're in fire season, you know what that means? That means we need to go on a goddamn raid. Non-you people. Non-you people either. Well, I mean, we have too many hunters for the wildlands. We have a lot of- really? We have too many hunters for it? Really? 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 <laughs> the less likely there'll be zombies be able to surprise us. I mean, are there normally just zombies out in Artula? You really think the hunters are out in the woods just hunting? I mean, no, but... It's worth it to 48 hunters and we already have more than that. Um, yeah, that's true. We might do that next year. We can handle a lot more... We can handle a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. We can handle a lot. Even though our population really is not growing. So, I don't know. I mean, I don't need to steal land from somebody, really. I really don't. We do have more treasure. Alright, what does that treasure do, by the way? Um, it helps us track down thing, track things down and find them. Ah, so it's good for trying to find jazz. Let's go ahead. Who can I raid? Who can I raid? Not how... how uh, uh, never mind. I could raid you. Do I care enough to? Not really. I can raid the Badgers too, I guess. You're not in my tribe. I could steal all that land, but I don't have enough people to do it. You know what? Screw it. Why the hell not? Let's go ahead and go on a goddamn raid. Let's go on a raid. Everyone wants to go on a raid? You want to go on a raid? Let's go on a raid. Facing 19 weapon things and 195 spearmen. I really have a lot of people. I can't seize their land. Damn it. I need to kill my ally then. I don't want to kill my ally. You, why are you? Uh, you have very good combat. I guess that works. And I've almost said that the, 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 the shake his uh, confidence. Yep. Yep. He was flaming spear through her. Raced. Oh. Oh. I think she's dead. I get the fit. They took 48 of our home auxiliaries captive. Nope. Now I'm being raided by the nasty. Nope. Not happening. You know, it's good to. Yeah, it's not going well for our war leader. She leaned the group. Call the dark side of the earth, damn it. Call upon Marin Gore, terrifying sister, to rather the loins of the Genasi warriors. It is us who are feeding Marin Gore with your war leader's blood. We have her fear of today, and she'll not turn on. Oh boy. We took nine other ca things captive. I'm just gonna go and free them. A preposterous, a pre preposterous, a preposterous rather than talent clan appears before you are from Gift Alliance. Aren't you already in our tribe? 
If I'll rouse the people to support us, we have too many cows. We're more prosperous than they are, they're just looking for a handout. Uh, the more the merrier. I'll go and disagree to the alliance. Yep, whatever you say, buddy. No, you fuckers, I'm so gonna get my stuff back. This is not happening. Uh-uh, no way. I want my people back, damn it. You, you're just good in everything. Just fight bravely. Everybody yeah, realized some of our footmen when they were cut down from force surrounded by the badgers. Okay, we rescued our people. Damn it. Thank you. Tell you before their enemies and the, the now I tell you that they did so and succeeded when the great boon from themselves. Not being able to learn what this boon was, but I hope it's not a weapon or magical secret that they, they intend to use against us. I don't know how how they could get it from doing that hero quest. What, are they going to send a magical cow after me or something? I don't think so. Hey, you're healed. Good job, lady. Got some wounded people, got some sick people. You know, while I'm at it... There are 24 hides. I can bump that up even more if I really want to. I'll bump it up to... Well, I mean, I'm already below. What do I need in terms of land? I need 100 hides. Wow, I need a lot of... I need a lot for my animals. So I can go up to 250. I'm going to go ahead and go up to probably 260. I'll have 265 and bump this up to 100... Bump all that up. I don't need that much. Okay, I don't need that much. <laughs> Bring it back down a little bit. Let's go down to 180. Go. Gift of luck. I'll go and just. I'll just give. I'll just give him what the. I. I didn't mean to do that, but oh well, it happened. Hunters, you buddies need to stop hunting. Yep, yeah, this is the, uh, oh boy. This is the event. I haven't seen this event yet, though, but I can't, so I guess, like, late night. One from the enemy people you know is the horsemen come to speak to your priestesses. They come not to make threats, but to inform you of a change within the leadership. Their new, kings, their new leader is not a king, but, but the feathered horse queen. Who derives her power from the gods of the earth, not from the god of the sun. We offer your people an opportunity to make a new relationship with our new queen, they say. We just show them hospitality at the least. It couldn't hurt to be generous with them. <laughs> All the horsemen in the Alanthi have never been friends. They respect our clan. Token, gift will suffice. So, <laughs> Feathers Queen, let me check my scrolls. This sounds familiar. No, you, you gotta stop watching that furry porn, man. You can't be doing it. Many times they raid our Alanthi clans, aided by their furry leaping steads. Our wars would be pleased if we boldly rebuff them. Nope, I'm going to go ahead and give them gifts. Go ahead and have 250 goods, and I'll go ahead and give you 30 cattle. And they'll go, holy shit, we should have done this a long time ago. They said we'd be glad if we... They said we would be glad we had gifted them. After they are gone, the warriors said we should not have paid such tribute to an enemy. I don't care. You gotta be nice. Why is there always a blood moon? What is going on? Everywhere there's a blood moon. Why? Why a blood moon? What did we do to invoke the wrath of doom? Doom! I think I need Chalana. Hey, Chalana, do I need you? I think I need Chalana. I don't know why the people are worried. We have so well, because there are so many people, they're going, ah, everything sucks. Can I resurrect anyone? I didn't think so. Chalana, help us. Yep, temper's calm somewhat. <sighs> A band of wandering musicians request permission to play in the clan market. Representative is Beastman, who introduced himself as Hairball. Really? Really? And speaks trade talk as well as it can be spoken, my master Brundalini promises an exciting and remarkable performance, one that will bring other clans from all over Dragon Pass. You will prosper from all the trade opportunities, and our fee for playing is a very reasonable 10 cows. An opportunity to hear Brundalini's all skeleton band comes only once in a generation. In addition to Brundalini the giant, 
and party includes two mentors and a host of walking skeletons. And my thing is, <laughs> my Arlen Smiting Cloth, I cannot believe that we consider a request made by undead monsters. <laughs> I just love that. No, I, you, you think I'm gonna pass this up? Nope, accept the offer. Boonalane is all skeleton band playing your clan market, and the booming sound of giant drums attracts the curi curious from all over Dragon Pass, festival atmosphere ensues, and people from many clans come to trade to talk and to swap gossip and to forget old slights. Uh, you've all gone mad. Absolutely mad. Nope. As good as the invitation marriages, so many choices I don't trade on one hand and then challenges that be fucked with generosity. Let's see what does the rest. Ah, oh, tricksters. I'm just gonna go and encourage my people to enjoy the event. The people were happy. They better be fucking happy. Nope. Go away. Ah. Uh, who put you up to it? No, uh, you know, to make forever a chief. Nah, dispute their allegation. Mother fucker. Go away. Oh no. Oh no. Oh boy. This is bad. This is really, really bad. I know what this event can lead to. I thought it wasn't in this version though. I thought it was only in the newer one, add or whatever. Troll King, Troll King come to the Tula to deliver a message from the trolls. Uh, Mistress Cryxpire says you have bothered the trolls enough. Any further botherment and she mad at you so she kill you all? Personally, maybe even. That's not exactly what she said. I forgot exactly what she said. But main thing is she killed you if you don't stop bothering trolls. Timely, another one asks. Also, please personally, please personal message from us. Do not kill messenger, please. The signs say we should take gifts to the cracks of our cells. You can afford to compensate them. Give them something edible and don't trust it to the troll. Can they just run off with it? Offer cows or souls or not offer a treasure. It, uh, if we see Mika in the face of enemy threats, the people will be unhappy. Well, the people would also be really unhappy when we end up having our entire tool a fucking destroyed guy. I know what this happens. It's like the fucking dwarves. They come with muskets and they go shoot us in the fucking heads. Release a troll kin in the name of freedom, or take them prisoner and sacrifice them to your mall. Nope. If that threat about Cragsburg coming herself is real, our days are numbered. I'm I'm gonna deal with the majority of what they say. Just send tribute. I'll offer wealth. I'll go ahead and give you have 150 things, have like a hundred-ish goods, and have ten cow. Here you go. Do you send a delegation to deliver the tre treasure personally? I... D yes, I'll do that. And since somebody I don't care about, who would that be? Randon, you go do it. How many warriors do I send to guard him? I will send seven and ten, I guess. Go. The Nazi Craig Spire, but one of her attendees, the attendant named Uker, received our peace gift. Thank you for your tasty gift. We do we not so ready to eat you now, but you far from having proved yourself. Go now and not be troll enemies. Ugh, they better come get that spike really fast. And that's uh, that's precursor of doom. Literally, that is the precursor of doom. It's kind of like if you attack the beast folk. You know, while while I'm here, uh, let's pan out the episode a little bit. We're in dark season. Let's go and pat out the episode a little bit, how about? Everybody, go. I'm sorry we actually got there. They have, like, nothing there. I'm just gonna go and show it. I'm gonna reload, because this is gonna end bad. But you know what? I'll go and show it. Everybody, let's go have party! Party! Yep, yep. Yep, I don't care. I don't care. This is all gonna be- oh, sh really? <sighs> I don't care. This is all gonna be reloaded anyway. Nope, 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 nope. I'm just gonna go and show this really quick. This is such a waste of time, I know.
This is really awkward. Oh, this is what I was saying. Yep. <laughs> this is what I was waiting for. Your comes the ransom of the ducks has come to fruition. The beast folk have risen up against your clan. Bring a, ho a huge force of ducks, mentors, and centaurs against you, supported by fox people and wasp people. They virtually destroy your clan. Almost all of your companions are dead. Half your non commands were slain or were taken as thralls. The victorious beast, beast folk destroyed your fortifications, drove off, drove off most of your livestock, and looted your stats at Clan Hall. Many Reen members were, were slain, finding an enormous army of beast warriors. In short, the future looks bleak for your clan. Should the survivors, should the survivors seek to, that, that, that doesn't matter. Should the survivors seek membership in other clans or soldier on despite impossible odds? Yeah. That's why you don't piss off the beast folk. Just saying. I've, uh... Wow, I... Really, I have all of two people. Wow. Yeah, that's, uh... That's why you don't do that. I'm, uh, just saying. There, there, there's a reason you don't do that. Just, uh... Yeah. Yeah. That's why you don't do that. Gonna go and restore that, because that would be dumb. Dark season, okay. It's like, yeah. There's a reason you, you don't attack the beast folk. There, there's a big reason. I don't even know why I wanted to do that. I just wanted to do that. So what was I doing? All right, uh, things. I don't remember now. Gifts, that's what it was. Gifts to everybody, go. <sighs> Your unhappy Carl's have grown so discontent. Nope. Uh, I'll just trade for more cows. We have, wait, wait. We have 3,300 cows and you're bitching around. We don't have enough cattle. Oh my god. What is wrong with you people? I didn't even read what they say because I was just ignoring them. And it's like, they, they were like, you need to trade for more cows. It doesn't matter that we have 3,300 cows. We have fucking more cows than we do people for the love of God. But apparently we still need more cows. Ugh. People. That's all you gotta say is people. Uh, who can I raid anyway? Not you. Oh, they didn't give us. They didn't give us tribute. Okay. I'll go and solve this problem. You better give me tribute, buddies. This is your own fault. Darren Lane, yep, they took some cows. They have a new chief. He's known for his impiety and his likeness for rich clothing. Died in the fire. <clears throat> Oops. I uh, kind of already tagged them, but oh well. <laughs> like, oh uh, yeah, we uh, <coughs> we realized that we probably shouldn't have done that. Demand the annual tribute. Give me 20 cows, lady. Uh, you're going to regret that. Uh, thing in the Woodpecker Clan comes to you ask for information about the Chief of the Grey Dogs. Uh, what do you have? Very pious. He's one on skin flint. He's a bold one. So great, my people actually know things. We know him well. Is he a generous chief? He is... One honesty. Is that really the one thing we don't know? What the fuck's a skin flint? I don't know it off the top of my head. He's not agreed that generosity is virtue. Alright, we got the right. I didn't... I don't know. Why did I not remember what skin flint meant? Whatever. Oh, this event does still happen. Spirits of most noble ancestors come in the clan hall, accompanied by ancestral spirits from other clans within our tribe. You may not realize it, but you are poised to do great honor to this clan and the clans of this tribe. We sense a difference in the air, a change in the way the grass wave. Probably because somebody farted, I'm not sure. And new ums in the gathering clouds. That's actually a mushroom cloud, that's the radiation. They said that we must remember that not all enemies are forever. Don't be afraid of new things. If you succeed in fulfilling your destiny, you will bring renown upon us all. We offer you a blessing to aid you on this path. Uh... <laughs> oh, please, wisdom, wisdom for all the luxurious games that you will need it. Oh, people. Here's a better question. Can I ask for the blessing for him to be able to read? I don't know if this man can read or not. I don't know if he's literate. We afford to thank them with a sacrifice if we want to. We have healthy, ample herds, though more herds never heard tribe. Have wise leaders. 
Does this essence include ale or feasting or dancing? Yep, I'll go and agree. Ask for blessings on Arcane. A wise request creates wisdom, and who surrounded him and the king's spirit. Arcane appeared to be swooned, but when he awoke, he declared that himself stronger and more clear-headed than ever. It was the ale, wasn't it? Amazing we defeated the Varmani so thoroughly that they picked up and moved. They moved to the new Tula next to the fire quartz. I was wondering when that was going to happen, finally. How much better are you? I think significantly. I think your magic now heroic, and I think your combat improved. I think. I'll see you come next year. So who else do we have to attack? Not really anybody. Not not re not really anyone. Um, the Varmandi, they moved. I can't steal land from people. How's our tribe doing? It's optimistic. What if I go on a... Um, do I want more people? Do more people. Canada or Nine Hides of Land. Uh, I mean, I could go get more people. Sure, let's go get more people. Everybody! Come join us for the love of help. We need out. We need all the help. Apparently, with the external threats we face, it would be prudent to re to reorganize this war clan. No, not really. I mean, raid uh, cattle raid. Actually, we uh, heavily outnumber them, but again, we're defending our home territory, so that probably means jack shit. As I said, they may have nine cows and three horses. Wow, well, 110 initiated adults. Whew. That's a lot. Fewer people, more cows, more horses, and fewer sheep. Oh, <clears throat> the usual stuff. Let's go ahead and go for another year, how about? 